Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Apple has finally dropped beta 4 of iPadOS 26 and I have it downloaded on my M4 iPad Pro and I'm super excited to show you all the new changes and updates that have been brought to this. Now, before we jump into beta 4, I quickly wanna talk about beta 3 because I was actually slightly confused and uh, disappointed when beta 3 dropped because you see, you did get some stability and performance improvements. Everything just felt a lot speedier with beta 3. However, one of the biggest elements of iPadOS 26 and iOS 26 this year is the all new liquid glass design. And with beta 3, Apple drastically dialed it back. And I think not just me, but a lot of people in the online community were actually very disappointed with that and actually ended up looking like frosted glass instead of liquid glass. And sure, there were minor issues with legibility and stuff, but Apple actually fixed some of those things with beta two. For example, with Control Center, it became a lot cleaner to look at overall. And it was a lot easier to see your buttons and controls overall because fingers crossed, with beta four, Apple has reverted that and has gone back to the liquid glass design. But anyways, let's jump right in and see what's new. All right, so one of the first things that I instantly noticed when I downloaded beta four is this all new splash screen. And I'm not gonna lie, these words look very uh, liquid glassy to say the least. So, so who knows, maybe liquid glass is gonna be amped up. So let's swipe up. All right, software update complete. Continue, agree. I don't think I had to do this with the previous betas, but uh, all right, so summarize notifications. You can use Apple intelligence to summarize content and notifications you receive. All right, this is definitely something I haven't seen before, but I'll just click not now for now. All right, so this is priority notifications. I'm gonna click not now for now. And then once again, back to that splash screen where it's giving you the welcome sign, a get started button. So I'm gonna click on that and here we go. So one of the first things I wanna see is that the liquid glass elements are back. So I'm in the App Store app now. If you look at this menu bar right here, as I scroll through color, it should look nice. Okay, you know what? I think liquid glass is back. Here, let me zoom in. If you look at this menu bar right here, as I go through colorful elements in the background, it does show it. Unlike previously, it didn't with beta three. So this is really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's exactly like how it was with beta one or beta two. It's almost like it's a refined version of the previous betas and beta three, but I like this, this is nice. Let me go in Apple Music. So here's the bar in the bottom. As I scroll up, you can see the liquid glass element is clearly back because I can see the color, I can see the translucent effect, that glassy effect, looks really, really nice. Apple has brought back liquid glass, heck yeah. Even if you look at Control Center and all the controls and the icons and everything, uh, liquid glass is definitely back. See, you can see the translucency, that glass-like effect in the back, super duper neat. I'm so thankful for it to be back. Also, you don't get any new wallpapers, but if you look at the default wallpaper of iPadOS 26, if you go into customize, as you can see in the last couple betas, we received um, new versions or new color variations of those wallpapers. But this time with beta four, we get an all new dynamic mode. And as you can see, it changes colors dynamically going through all the different shades. I kind of like this, not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's a little different, but I wish we got more variations or different wallpaper options in general. Also, another thing that I noticed is that the camera icon is slightly tweaked. And here's my iPad running beta three. And as you can see, there's like this thicker ring around the lens on the camera app. But when you look at it over here, it's almost like that, you know, thick lens is gone and it's now just a bigger lens that you see versus this icon right over here, a very small and subtle change. And of course it's very snappy. Once again, I don't know, I can't really compare it to beta three because that also was very, very snappy. But once again, all the animations, everything, the pop-ups doesn't feel glitchy, feels very fast and smooth. And aside from the changes that I went over, I'm not really noticing anything else. All right, so this basically wraps up 
all the updates that we see in beta 4. I am so freaking happy that Apple actually brought back a lot of those liquid glass elements that were missing from beta 3 and it looks better than ever before. It's a lot more legible and easier to read overall and I think a lot of people will appreciate that. Now having said that, I am still very happy with all the performance improvements that I'm seeing not just with beta 4 but even beta 2 and beta 3. If someone was to download iPadOS 26 right now, honestly it wouldn't even feel like beta because it's actually very stable and it works really really well. Even with beta 2 and beta 3, I didn't experience a lot of glitches or apps crashing and I think with beta 4 we're going to see an even bigger improvement on that. So if you are someone who's interested in checking out the public beta, I say go for it because I think you're really really going to enjoy it. But at the same time, we're going to see the official iPadOS 26 release in just a couple of months. If you can wait, wait. But if you want to get the public beta, it's safe to do so. But as always, I want to know your thoughts on iPadOS 26. If you're using it, how are you liking it? And if you haven't used it, then what are you looking most forward to in terms of features with iPadOS 26 in general? So whatever your thoughts you have, whatever questions you have, leave them down in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.